Hello and welcome to LEV Toys. Now, this is part two, so you need to click here if you missed part one of Elsa's sparkling ice castle build, because we are about to start on with part two where we do the second half of the ice castle. So we've already got the base here ready to go. So we need to start opening bag three, spin it around, and we're going to start putting the sides on. I do love these bits, I love these ice sculpture parts. They look fantastic and they're filled with, with sparkly glitter as well. You come and stand up here, Princess Elsa. Queen Elsa. Queen Elsa. So that you can um, supervise and make sure that I'm getting this right. Because I've mucked up a few bits so far. And I'm sure if you were watching before I wouldn't have got them wrong. Now what do we need to build here? Oh, I know, this is going to be, this is the second story, so this is a good place for you to have your bed. So let's put this on, this is going to be the blanket sticker and it's got a snowflake on it and there's your pillow and it goes in here. Would you like to try it out? Because it's quite tiring being the overseer of a building site. There we go. It does look comfortable. And let's put the other side of the structure up. And this is going to be a little, little pedestal to hold your crown or your tiara. You stand over here. It comes with two crowns or tiaras, just in case you lose one, just in case. And this is the perfume or potion bottle which every ice castle needs. And it's got its own little alcove of shiny sparkly ice. <laughs> All right, let's build the front part here. We've got these, come and look, come and watch, come and watch. We're gonna put the, see I told you, I'll muck that up because you had your back to me, so now it's right. All right, now we're gonna put the arch on in here. That's very, very nice. And the front balcony now, I think. And it's very comfortably rounded and sculptural. We need some more of these quarter circle pieces. Look at that. And a torch, a flaming torch, because of course you'd have one of those in an ice castle, I don't think. <laughs> there you are, you're standing on your balcony and your balcony needs some more icicles up here to go with you to combat the flaming torch. All right, next level. So this is the roof of the second level, or the floor of the third level, whichever way you want to look at it. And that's the centerpiece. I do like these light mint green pieces. They're very pretty. And some little ooh, shards of ice for the top. Some more icicles. A stool with a sticker cushion and that's going to go right in the middle so she can look out from the very topmost point of her castle and of course she needs another flame to see by and because it's magical it's not going to melt anything some decoration on the other side uh, a letter probably from Princess Anna saying why on earth are you out here in the middle of the raging snow and it's really really cold and please can you just come home so there's the top floor. Come up here. Come up here, Elsa, and try out. See, you can't sit on that with your cape on. I think you're going to have to take your cape off. No, see, that doesn't work at all. You can stand here and look out. There, can you see out? Yes, you can see out. There's some more decoration to be done to the front. Now, my six, even my six-year-old said, seriously, mummy, are we putting flowers in the ice landscape? Because they couldn't possibly exist there. So, <laughs> if you can't fool my six-year-old, um, I, th I think, Lego, you might have wanted to think this one through. But they do look very pretty, just not, <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah, even my six-year-old doesn't think it's very realistic. And we need four of these little jewel, flowery decorations, and they go up on the second balcony. And she had no issue with these, because they're very pretty. And they're like little sparkly jewels. There. And here we have the crowning centerpiece for the top. So we're going to go all the way up. And Miss Millie, my beautiful six-year-old, is putting it on. Elsa's checking to make sure she gets it on. There we go. And she says, well done. A job well done, Millie. Very good work. Now you stand up here. Stand up here, Elsa. Maybe on the seat. And we're going to make a book for your top little loft. Your loft room. You can sit up here and read because it's terribly lonely out here without your sister. And it is a book about icy castles. And it has this perfect little slot for it to go into. And strangely enough, one of the last things you put in are the skis in this little grid down here. <laughs> Come and have a look. See, that's where you keep the skis. So here we go. Here we go, Elsa. It's completely done. So around you go. Up the spiral staircase. Up to the bedroom. There's your bedroom. You come out on the balcony. And we're going to pop Olaf down here. He can have a picnic. And we're going to grab Princess Anna. And she's just arrived on her sleigh. Can she come in, do you think? Do you think you can let her come in without sending a big scary ice monster after her? Yes, I think they're all friends at this stage. I think it's all okay. Look at the details in those minifigures. It's worth getting this set for the Elsa and Anna minifigures alone, I think. They are gorgeous. There you go. One frozen sparkling ice castle built. Don't forget to click subscribe to keep up with new videos. Press like and leave me a comment and I will see you very, very soon.